in this wild golden band you can all right that's some beautiful color you got right there and the gold is just waiting to be found back in my stomping grounds we're here at base camp we're to do a base camp update it's march 28th the sun is shining it's about 38 40 degrees and uh, this is perfect digging weather so long the sun's out it's beautiful and you can dig find some gold and have a great day we're gonna take a look around check out the snowpack look at accessibility see if the holes are open check the river show you guys where we're at but it looks like it's game on guys mining seasons upon us and the gold is just waiting to be found so we just pulled in and you can see a two-wheel drive vehicle can pull in here no problem to the top here uh we got someone digging we got one car we're gonna go check it out see who it is see what they're getting and uh scope the rest of the property it's a little windy today but it looks like the ground's thawed we got this access road down to the river is open Right now we're heading down the first access road. It's pretty clear. Nobody's driven down here, but if you got four-wheel drive, you can get down here no problem. Here we're down at the river, the water's edge. Still got a little bit of snow and ice on the banks. Right here is the water. You can see someone's got an old dredge hole right here. Looks like they stopped right there. You can push forward that way, that way, this way, or out into the current. As you can see, the river's nice and clear. You can get up to the edge. Dredge season's opening just in a couple days here. If you got the nerve to brave the cold water, this is a great time to jump in because the water's lower. We're still before runoff season and you can get into some areas you can't in about a month or two here. So if you got an insulated wetsuit, a floating dredge, and pretty much on her skin and want to play in the cold, the gold is here. Where we're walking right now is modern day virgin gravel, but you got these big boulders to deal with. But frequently with the big boulders, we got big gold. You can see somebody worked out a tiny little pocket here, but they didn't go back up this way. So back on land, we got some open gravel here. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit frozen. Oh, it's not too thick. Let's bust it. Boom. As you can see, the ground's not frozen. We got loose gravel. And to me, this looks like a high banking hole slash dry land dredging. We can get up in here. All this up ahead is open. Some open ground over here for high banking, sluice, and panning. So there's pockets of exposed gravel all over the place. I know there's still really good gold on the margins and up in this hole here, back here, back there, and over here. So I might have to come in here and scoop some of this off so you guys can get on that gold a little bit easier. Awesome, right over here we got Chris working. Let's go check out how he's doing. It's running pretty darn well. Here we got the hole. How's it going, Chris? Good, how are you? Not bad. Doing a little dry land dredging, I see. Yep. How's the gold in this hole? It's good. It's gone by all ground so far. Nice. About right where you're standing, I've started. Right on? Yeah. Pretty darn cool. Is that a two and a half inch nozzle or? Yeah, it's a two and a half. Uh -huh. Actually, yeah, I just bought a three. Right on. So I'm going to be able to move more material. Definitely. I'm just hoping my uh, water pump will actually have enough pressure to run it well. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> part of the problem. Because the more suction you have, the better, and the more gold you get. Exactly. Yeah. 
Awesome. Well, it looks like you're doing great in here. Yep. You pulled out a vial of gold a minute ago. Can we see that real quick? Yeah, of course. So you got to take your gloves off. That's <laughs> uh, all good. <laughs> All right, so that's some beautiful color you got right there and you pulled that out of this hole, huh? Yep, so far. Very nice. Yeah. Good work. You're one of the brave burly souls that's been working out here for a couple weeks already. Yeah. Braving the cold, finding the gold. Yep. <laughs> awesome, man. Good luck and yeah, hopefully see you more later this season. Great. All right. Take care. Well, that's great to see Chris, super nice guy. He's on the gold and we just chatted for quite a while about all sorts of things. I'm gonna drive around to the backside of the claim here. Nobody's been on this road yet from the looks of the snow, so I'm gonna break some trail. It doesn't look too bad. We're gonna head back there and see how far we can get. We got some open dig holes right here. Road's pretty much clear. Virgin gravel in the bank. Now we're coming up on a little bit of snow. Just plow through here, open it up. Oh, that's not too bad at all. So heck, if you got four wheel drive, you can get to the back side as well. You better walk it, take a quick look. But I imagine this snow will be gone in the next couple weeks. Oh, I could have gotten through here. Uh, the whole lower part of the claim's open and the upper end's flowing too. That's our March 28th update. Grounds open, dredge season's right around the corner. See you guys soon. Here we're looking at the cabochon I polished. This is the one that's actually gonna be in the giveaway. All right, well here we have our four stones. They turned out beautiful. Look at these things. All right, it's time for the gold ore cabochon giveaway. We got two winners today. Uh, one from YouTube, one from Facebook. Uh, we just did the official weigh-in. At... We've got 12.18 carats. All right, dude, so for the main cabochon, the winner is Max Z1 with a guess of 12.2 carats. And his comment was, so awesome, good luck to everyone. And what's really neat about this is that Max Z is one of the only guys that wished everybody else luck. So the gold gods favored you, man. Uh, send me your information and we'll get this cab sent off to you. If Max Z doesn't respond in time, our runner-up is Mike O'Brien with a comment of for the win, and you almost had it, buddy. 12.13 uh, carats. You're in second place, runner-up. And we have a couple honorable mentions. Guys, you were so close. We got Miles Ruthledge, the J Shigs, AU Miner, Gold Miner, Robert Dunn, and Frindy Lee. Now for the second cabochon from Facebook, we got our big winner, HD Shovel Ed Calietti. Great job, man. Send me your info and we'll send this off to you ASAP. If you guys missed the original video where we cut up, slice up, and polish this beautiful gold ore, you should really check it out. It's pretty cool stuff. We'll have the link for it in the description below. And you club members out there, if you're coming up the claim to dig and find some gold, make sure you log into the website, check the current gate pass code, See if any rules and regs have changed and we hope to see you out there soon. Look at that little vein and it comes down to this malachite blobble. It's so cool. So certainly copper minerals added to that mineralization. In this wild golden band, you can see how the iron minerals are leaching out of that pyrite. It's just so cool. This is a two plus gram Colorado nugget. You can see some quartz still within the gold. And now we're gonna take a look at some flower gold. These are shots of super tiny flower gold, somewhere, you know, 50 to 100 mesh. Heavy pans, my friends.